Well, hello again. Miss Bob is here with a new lesson. This one is going to be on plant propagation methods. Like you and I, plants are a renewable resource. But how do we get more of them? Yeah. Are you thinking of that juicy mango you had or that slice of melon and you got all those seeds? Ding, 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 ding. You're right. They reproduce. We get more plants through seeds. And these seeds, right conditions, they get germinated and voila, we have a whole new plant. But not every plant produces a seed. Let's think of that banana. Yes. I have never seen seeds in a banana. Well, not of any significance that can be planted and make a seedling. So how do farmers get new banana plants? Hmm. Well, interestingly, those plants that do not produce seeds, or even those that produce seeds, farmers have found a way to propagate them, to create new ones. And we have two types of plant propagation methods. The first one that you know of, seeds using seeds is sexual reproduction but the one i'm interested in right now for this lesson is asexual reproduction for asexual reproduction what farmers gardeners horticulturists do is that we use a parent plant and we take parts of that plant and these uh, um, parts can actually be rooted and they will make new plants now the interesting thing is the new plant that comes up it's, it's just a clone. Unlike, uh, say, you and I, a dog, a cat, a mango tree, where you take um, part of the male cells and the female cells and join them together and get a unique plant, a unique dog, a unique cat, a unique human being, because we have traits from both of our parents, that is not the same way for those that are propagated asexually. You get a clone. It's just like a carbon copy. And in this lesson, we're only going to look at three types of asexual reproduction for those plants that don't have seeds. And even some plants that grow through seeds, they can use those methods as well. And that is suckers, cutting, and air layer, 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 layer. <laughs> Okay, let's do that again. So this is a two-part lesson. In this part, we're only going to look at plants that can be propagated through cuttings, suckers, and air layering. And I'm going to use my garden to show you because that's my classroom, and I'm always a teacher and a student. So let's learn with me. Come along. Let's look at suckers. Quite a few plants propagate through suckers. So we have this cocoi tree. Um, well, they're not really trees. They are Actually herbs, can you believe that? But I'm going to say tree because we were customers saying that, but no, it's a, an herb. So this plant actually reproduces through suckers. If you look, you'll see all this, the smaller plants, the smaller trees come in. I did not grow that. This came from the parent plant and that's a sucker. Let's check out the planting. See how my plant is so fat? It's getting fatter and fatter and fatter. My kingman planted, he got a sucker and he planted this one. This is the parent and that's it. And as you can see, it has several smaller plants. So we have one, this one is going to be the biggest one for sure, right there. So after we have the planting, he will chop this down and this one will now get the space to grow. And sometimes what he does is to avoid too much competition, he will desucker it. So we have all these little suckers right there. I, I see how many? What? Four of them. Plus, if you notice, we have more suckers coming up. There's another one right there. So what he does is to give the parent plant an opportunity to get most of the nutrients and make fat plantains or cocoa or bananas. He will desucker. So he might take off this one and this one but he will definitely leave that one and yeah that's how we get more planting and and bananas same thing my banana uh-huh and this one has suckers like all the others thank you nature and we have here aloes aloes also send the suckers 
and as you can see here we have the parent i planted this one and it has sent many other other um i do see it has sent many other suckers right there and if i because it can get very crowded come and see this small one come and see this tiny tiny one right there seeing it so these leaves actually will grow so if i pull this one out okay okay I, this one is too small i think i'm messing it up but if i take this one see and i plant it it will actually make a, a whole new plant and it will just be a clone of the parent plant I learned something interesting about aloes. See that um, tiny plant, the baby plant I just removed from the mother? Check out the roots on that. I learned that they are also called offsets or pups. Hmm. You're never too old to learn. Other plants that um, send suckers are pineapples, berries, raspberries, mulberries, blackberries. They also send suckers. and. Farmers have to be very careful with these plants in their garden because they could just pop up wherever they want. Do you know that quite a few plants that can be grown, um, propagated through seedlings, can actually be grown in other ways? Like, for example, the tomatoes. Tomatoes and eggplants. They send suckers. Let's find one. Come, right here. They send, you see, right there at the crook of where the leaf is uh, coming out, and here at this angle. This is actually a sucker and all the little hairs i don't know if you can pick it up can you pick it up that you're mm -hmm. seeing this is like a rule written into the plant to say that can grow that can be roots it has the right conditions and you put it in soil or even water this can start to root to encourage more fruit production and less leaves i remove a few suckers like this so that's an entirely new clone of the parent plant and that's for the tomato if i plant it and it has the right conditions it will actually grow the next one we have is the check out my mulberry i grew it from a cutting mm -hmm. no 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 actually earlier earlier this one oh that's the next one so let's let's leave that and go to the eggplant eggplant will do the same thing they actually send suckers as well and I once did an experiment a long time ago to see if they would actually grow. And yes, they do grow, not as successfully as if you use the seeds, but then yes, so all of these on the eggplant right there, these are suckers. And if I make them get big enough, I can actually propagate that. I can actually propagate that sucker and get an entirely well, it's a new plant, but it's a clone. It's a clone of this one. So farmers who really like a particular plant, they ensure that they have the same genetic copy of that plant over and over again by using clones. Mm -hmm. This is my mulberry, my mulberry tree. And yes, it grows through suckers, but we can move on to another form of plant propagation and that is through cuttings i got this mulberry and i took cuttings from it and now i have several mulberry plants when you take a cutting of a of a plant you snip off part of the parent and i always try to ensure that i get a node and what would happen is when you stick it in the ground it gets the right conditions it will actually grow roots let me show you i had cut them to make a trellis for a piece that I was growing there and I found that they grew look so if it continues to get the right condition it will actually grow and see that it's still very much alive you can see where the new leaves would um, sprout from and the interesting thing about mulberry or any berry is that the leaf would come from here and the fruit would actually come from that same area so let's just stick it back in and let it do its own do i will have to replant it somewhere else because that's actually where my potatoes grow many of the herbs that i grow are also propagated through stem cuttings see here i have some peppermints 
growing i have rooted them in water check it out check out the roots on this and these were just stems that i cut and popped into the water uh, they need to be transplanted into the soil soon i also did the same thing with this gojai or broadleaf thyme um, also called goditan uh, and what i did is i snipped off a stem i made sure as usual that the last part i had was a node uh, we can see the nodes right here where you have this section where it looks a little dark and a little thicker and from the nodes as you can see that is where the new leaf comes through this is the part of the plant that says i have all the information all the nutrients all the cellular activity you need to make new plants so these are the nodes and also this one i bought this one i didn't um, grow it but i bought it from a young guy in town and that is the chocolate mint it's doing really well i hope it survives and it was also propagated through stem cuttings and here's the most difficult plant for me to grow rosemary and i also propagated it after many many tries through stem cuttings so what i learned is that to get a very healthy part of the branch make sure that it's green and i rooted it in in the soil let me see so i did a check to see how dry it is and i think this one would probably work and i rooted it not in water this time but um in the soil because as you can see compared to the peppermint and the gojai that i showed the rosemary's um stems uh they're very very high <laughs> i do see good morning You're joining me again the rosemary um stems are very very hard it's very very woody this bush would definitely need to be um, put in the soil the water would just rot it and i learned this the hard way so there we have it quite a few plants can be propagated through stem cuttings and most of them tend to be herb herbaceous plants um, those with soft stems and some of them with hard stems like the berries and the rosemary uh, can be propagated through um, stem cuttings as well hi adopted good morning where did you come from hello <laughs> good morning did you and Dosi go on a somewhere hi all right that's enough you're just a hugger the other type of cuttings are actually leaf cuttings so we have stem cuttings and then you have leaf cuttings you may have heard of leaf of life probably you've experimented put it in a, a leaf in your book and leave it there and see the wonder of nature where it sends roots like it's that's the root probably you've done that if you haven't you should get a leaf of life ask your teacher for one and see the wonder see the roots coming from the leaves but if you know of watch it if your mommy or your daddy or maybe you're not in school you're just a student of nature like myself if you know of watch it the english name for watch it is cactus we use that to wash our hair um it's very good for skin and also be propagated from leaf cuttings let me show you The plant is not in my garden. It's actually somewhere else. Let's go check it out. Okay, I collect all the grass. Hurry up, we need that garden. <laughs> <laughs> Your back, you just started picking up the grass. That, that is the watchet or cactus and um, there are many different types of cactus but in this one we use it for washing hair skin condition and you want your locks to be nice and pretty or your scalp to be really healthy that's what you should take now these can also be propagated through leaf cutting if you check it out you can see where the new leaves are coming from it it's like just one big leaf leaf upon leaf upon leaf upon leaf and if you look here up here you will see that you have new leaves coming in um, on even right here you have new leaves coming in that area here oh maybe be careful i think that's the fruit it makes a fruit i don't know if it's edible i don't want to try i'll find out so this will be the fruit that it makes but if 
if you pick. Hello, Dossi. Dossi came. <laughs> he came. He actually came over. If you pick the leaf and you pop that into the soil, you will get a whole new plant. I'm going to use that so we can wash over here with it. Thank you, plant. So other succulents will, can actually be propagated through leaf cuttings and I have quite a few growing um, on my veranda. I'll show that to you. The thing is, I don't know the names of these uh, succulents that I have and what I do know is that they can propagate asexually and sexually. So then there's, sometimes they make flowers. This one right there, it sends this flower that would be um, pollination taking place but those there this leaf falls that's how i got this plant it's the one right next to it right there you can see i did not plant that one a leaf fell and the leaf grew just like this one right there i got this from a parent who gave me this tiny leaf and then it sprouted it has roots check out the roots well maybe you can see it as it has the soil wrapped around it but it actually sprouted so the parent a part of the parent body the leaf um actually gave vegetative growth and <laughs> I, I it's just a wonder that these succulents as i said i don't know their names they're beautiful i was gifted <laughs> with succulents my students know that i love planting and i love gardening so they gifted me with succulents just recap um, plant propagation method that does not use seeds so these plants can be grown we get new plants that's what propagate means by using parent plants so we can take cuttings so you could do stem cuttings eh, a peppermint could do so cane could do so basilic could do so um, even raspberry and mulberries can be stem you could use stem cuttings you could also use leaf cuttings and these usually go for those that have their, their, their food is in their leaf like the thick leaves so like patch heads cactus and even the other sex succulents i don't know their names so these you could use the leaf cuttings the leaf of life as well the other way we can propagate is through suckers so suckers allow us to get more bananas and plantains and cocoa even pineapple and aloes as well so we use suckers and and these are the methods for plant propagation for part one and we'll end here for now i'm miss bob i'm a student my garden is my classroom nature is my teacher the earth is my school see you until the next lesson bye